Assalamu alaikum family. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share two dreams that I had uh, that I had recently. I hope everybody is doing really good today. Um, last week I had a dream that I was run we the, myself and a like a ton of other people that I didn't even know. We were like running through like this really big building, and the in in this big building the rooms were like really big. So it was taking us like a while to get from one door to the other and we had to go like around these corners it was kind of like a maze but like we had to like run through this really big building and i went around a corner and i slipped on a gray throw blanket like a like it's not a, like a blanket but it's like a blanket that some people like throw it over their couch they call it a throw or throw blanket or something like that i slipped on that and uh the blanket went over the top of me and the uh, the beasts that were attacking but you know what the beasts look like you know the movie carrots of the K K pirates of the caribbean with jack sparrow don't ask me how i know this i've never watched the movie but the advertisements and stuff is how i know it uh, he played the character johnny depp played the character jack sparrow a lot of the characters look like that and then most of the characters look most of the monsters in the dream kind of look like you know the guy who looks like he has like octopi octopus arms like growing from his face and his head or whatever they mostly look like that one I don't know that character's name but yeah they were attacking everybody in the building and every we were all trying to run outside so once I went around the corner I slipped on a I fell I slipped and fell on on a gray throw blanket and it, the blanket went over me and everyone else that was trying to get to the door to the other room trying to get through the building to get outside um they were they were all attacked they were all i won't even say all the gruesome like things like all the like the bloodshed and everything that i was seeing from like peeking under the blanket once i fell i was hurt and i couldn't get up so i stayed under there and once they got rid of everybody like all these bodies laying down all over the floor they knew they could sense somebody was still in there so they kind of like were pacing around the room and like looking for me and after a while of them doing that I was really still but after a while of them doing that they started to leave out of the building so I got up because I was gonna continue to escape but they all stopped and they turned around because they sensed me moving and I I stopped moving I stayed under the gray blanket because I was like oh they can't detect me under this gray blanket so I stayed under there and that was how I got away in the dream and um but everybody else around me was just they were all gone no, nobody slipped and fell but me but that was the that was how i got away um that was my dream last week then this week my gosh i dreamt the same characters you guys literally biting people's heads off ripping people apart like cl taking their big hands and clapping people's heads together just just like it was like a little balloon or something and those same characters came back only this time where were we we were we were I think things were like a picnic setting you guys know how dreams are you're in one place in one second and then another place another second that's kind of how this this dream was um, I think we were like at a food pantry I own the food pantry. I don't know why I own food pantries in my dream. I don't know. It's weird. I do not own a food pantry or anything like it in, in like right now. But uh, and I I don't I don't even think I even have the desire to. Yes, that would be nice. But if I could do anything, I would probably buy um, um, oh, hotels and house people in hotels, working people who they can't get a home. They can't really afford a home. But I would do. I would buy a. Uh, like hotel people and and house people because there are a lot of people without housing um and i don't want to say yeah yeah they're, they're homeless so is what i was what i'm trying to say um but they would need to earn like an income anyway let me let me get on with this dream so two nights ago about two nights ago i dreamt that the same characters came back this time there were many more of them and everybody in the world was like trying to run away from these characters and <clears throat> I got in my car, I drove to a vacant lot where there were 
a few other cars. The lot was really big. It was vacant. Maybe my, my car and like two other cars. But okay, so then an airplane. So I pull up and there's like maybe two or three other cars and a helicopter, I was about to say an airplane, a helicopter crashed down right next to me. Everything was like in 3D. It was so clear. It wasn't even like one of those dreams that were like, whoa, whoa. It was clear as day. A helicopter crashes down right next to me, a purely white helicopter. And I remember like sh like lifting my arm, like I, I, like I tried to shield myself from it because I was like, I know everything is gonna like explode and like break apart. And it did, but none of it touched my car. So I was really glad, so I started to drive off, but I see my friend, I saw my friend, my real life friend, in a car, across, in the car across from me. So I was like, oh my goodness, so I set out my, I rolled my window down a little bit, and I was like, follow me, follow me. I don't know where I was going, like, why was I the leader? What am I doing? What was I thinking? Follow me where? Like the whole world, like these, the whole world was like dust and fire. So, um, so she tried to follow me, but her car wouldn't start. And so um so one of the beast animal beast character things they were oh they came and they grabbed her entire car they snatched her out of the window and i remember crying and watching this in my dream i remember crying and looking at her all of her jewelry i remember this in detail don't know why this happened all of her jewelry popped off of her neck they grabbed her up by her neck all of the jewel uh, her necklaces and rings and everything she had on all of her jewelry popped off of her and he squeezed her neck until her head popped off and oh my gosh awful awful scenes people just just getting destroyed so um i started to drive away and just and i was just driving and um i looked in my back seat and there were a bunch of people in my back seat and they were saying like, and they were like talking to God and saying like, um, you know, thank you, thanking God to, for keeping him with us. Oh, a lot of people. And please, whoever's watching this that is a Muslim, no, they were not even all Muslim. They were Christians. They were Muslims. They were, they were everybody in my backseat. You know, backseats carry two or three people. No, nope, there were, in my dream, there were a lot of people in my backseat. So um i asked who like who are you like where did you come from like where are we going who are, i'm asking questions where who are you where did you come from these really pure people and you guys they said we're slaves of god we're slaves of god we serve god so i'm just driving into the nothingness of nowhere because where was i driving and why was i the only one who could drive but yeah um so when uh, I kept looking back in the back seat and I said, but where did you come from? Because I don't want them to, I'm driving and I don't want them to turn into those beasts that were just, that were outside, like destroying everybody and destroying the world, eating and drinking everything, just ravagely, savagely trash thrown, like I said, dust and fire everywhere, broken down buildings. Um, so uh, they, they said we're from everywhere. So I'm like, uh, where's everywhere? And why was I an interviewer in this moment? We should be trying to get away, but I'm busy asking them questions. So they were saying that they were ser servants of God. I do remember a guy and a girl kept saying, we're all servants of God. When I woke up from that dream, that was very real, that was still sitting with me and my heart was pounding when I woke up. God let me know and click out this video if you don't want to hear this, please. I'm going to warn you now. We have something really, this is upon us now. This is upon us now. And I thank God for all of the people who worship God in spirit and in truth. And that includes Christians. Please, if you're a Muslim watching this, open your eyes. There are Christians that worship God in spirit and in truth. And you want to know how? They are the Christians whose faces are shining the brightest. Because when they're praying to God, and I, and, I, and I specifically give this message to Muslims because a, a lot of Muslims think that if you are not a Muslim, then your face can't radiate with God's uh, light. But yes, those Christians in there and Christians of the world who worship God in spirit and in truth, and they don't add wives and children and they give God <clears throat> all of the praise, 
all of the glory and when they're in tough situations, when they're in good situations, they praise God. And when they're in really tough situations, they turn to God. This is how you'll know their faces, those ones that are praying to God in spirit and in truth. Their faces will be bright, shining bright. Because why? While they are praying, no matter whether it's day or night, they're not imagining a fair-skinned man with a narrow nose with long wavy hair. They're not imagining a person. When they're praying to God, they're praying to God in spirit and in truth. And God's light is shining through them. And he gives them a glow un unlike any other. Makeup can't give you the glow. Nothing can give you the glow. And they give God all of the glory. All of the praise goes to him. Those are the Christians that I don't like when people want to make a separation. God knows and he sees everybody's heart. So we don't have a place to say only a certain kind of person God will keep his favor on. No, nope, we don't have the permission to do that. We don't. God will take everybody on their own journey to lead him back to them in the purest form he can. That may mean you get sick on this earth, but he's going to purify you in some way. That may mean he gives you a lot of uh, difficulties and things, but he's going to get to get him back. To, you're, he's going to get you back to him in the purest state that you can be in. But while you're here, you want to live in God's purpose for your life. And you want to live, live the cleanest life that you can live. Because a lot of people definitely will be saved. But there will be a lot of people that openly turn their backs, openly turn their hearts. I am not going to give a label. I do not care to label someone. God, he sees their heart. But those are the people who will be the closest to God. Who, If he chooses, if he chooses that he wants to save and keep them for whatever purpose, whatever reason. This is purely up to God. So stay clean, like spiritually, keep yourself clean. And of course, physically, you want to keep yourself clean. Um, these kind of dreams for me happen when I'm spending the most time with God. The most time. You guys, a lot of people in the world get up and they pray at nighttime and they talk with God in the nighttime, right? Um, and they're coming from they're coming from a beautiful place. God starts showing them things, and this world really is in trouble. Yes, a lot of us have houses and food, and we have uh, storage like pantries that are full and prepared for when when people are really not able to go to the store and shop. A lot of us have that, but there's a storm coming. Okay, so you want to get right with God first and let Him take care of you. And the way he's going to take care of you is through your obedience. He's going to make a way for, for you. He makes a way for all of us. Those who seek him, all right, he makes a way for all of us. Ways that we have no idea. He opens all kinds of doors that we have no idea. So, you guys, this is a warning. It's, it's a warning to myself as well. Let's get it together as much as we possibly can. And uh, keep... Is, uh, how was the diagnosis on the diagnosis going to uh, keep our focus on worshiping God, God and only God. He's created every single person, every single thing, everything in the heavens and the earth and everything in between. So let's, uh, let's keep our relationship very good and very strong with him. He sees all of our hearts and he will deal with us accordingly. And with that being said, I love saying with that being said, it makes me feel like I'm so intelligent. Um, take care until my next video. I love you all. Give this video a big thumbs up. Until my next upload. Bye.